So I had an experience today that I found kind of funny and then on reflection realized that there's maybe some content there that might be useful to you. I was at a shopping center today, a mall, you know, a big place that lots of people go to access a ton of other stores, yeah? <laughs> and I was there, I was um, having some food while I was waiting for something. And while I was sitting there eating my meal, I noticed someone who was, let's just say they were particularly attractive. You know, one of those people that's kind of like, especially good looking that you're like, oh, you should be a model. So I saw them walking in and what I noticed, this is the thing that I found so intriguing, was that as they passed, all of these other people around them who were busy with their day or with their kids or, or whatever, they were doing their own thing and then they noticed this very attractive person and then it was like they suddenly snapped into this state of self-awareness where they just by seeing someone else that they might go oh whoa suddenly were like able to actually become aware of their themselves <laughs> and they might they were like yeah yeah doing this and the person would come and they'd be like oh uh, better make sure i don't have a, a grease on my face from eating or you know, tucking in their shirts, <laughs> standing up straighter and taller. It was quite remarkable. Um, it was like a wave as this person walked through. It was like a wave of everyone around them just becoming sort of self-aware and going like, oh yes, I do care about my appearance. Look how attractive I can be, apparently. <laughs> but the thing that I found really funny about, I mean, the whole situation was pretty comical, but the thing that I'm saying might be useful here is just how interesting it is that it took that external force for all of these people to start frankly looking you know caring about themselves or caring about their appearance or how they presented at all and I found that to be very interesting because and it wasn't just like a, a purely aesthetic thing you know people like the thing that I found most interesting was the posture People who were like all hunched over, they'd see this person go, ooh. <laughs> it wasn't quite that dramatic, but it was definitely little adjustments. And the thing is, if you are aware that your posture is bad and you make adjustments to be in a better posture, you will be breathing more uh, deeply. You will be thinking more clearly. There are so many hormonal changes that occur in your body from, from having better posture. And so all of these things, it was taking this moment of, of, of insight triggered by an external stimulus to get people to notice ways that they could just improve their own lives even momentarily or ex improve their own experience of their own life, I should also say. And that's the thing that I find intriguing, how we can lose focus on the things that we can be doing for ourselves any given moment and then some things get make us go oh it's like if you see someone like if you ever like you know you're doing some stretching or whatever in public people start to do that too like if i start to do little things to like loosen up my shoulders or whatever sometimes people are like oh yeah i guess that is like, oh yeah that is good but until they've seen it elsewhere they don't seem to have the awareness to actually look at what they might need. It's like we don't check in with ourselves moment by moment unless something prompts us to. And that's the thing that I find very interesting. Because if we were able to develop an internal awareness that would allow us to just, yeah, be more present, be more mindful, be more in the moment, and actually thinking about our own needs, what they might be, and how we might be able to meet them in each passing moment, well, we would be just living better lives with better things happening to us. And you know, I hopefully don't need to say you on that concept. It should be pretty open and shut. So what if you became in your own life, that gloriously attractive person that doesn't take someone else walking past, it takes you walking past you. What if it took being aware that you, the most important person to you, was there with you and watching to suddenly snap into attention. Oh, I've got to do this for me. Oh, for Jack. Jack's paying attention right now. My name's Jack. If you're new to the channel, that's me. I'm talking about myself. 
I might feel like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Oh, hang on. Jack's watching. Oh, I gotta look really good for him. <laughs> or, yeah, oh, uh, better make sure I'm, I'm sitting up and breathing better. Oh, yeah. Oh, gotta look, gotta feel good. Jack does that, or I don't know, it's still solving a little bit, but you get the point. <laughs> Getting that frame of reference from someone else that makes you reflect and change the actions you're doing, and instead making it yourself. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be useful? Is this a functionally appropriate hack that might get you to have a few more mindful moments and adjust yourself as you go to just be a bit better? Would that be good? I hope so. Maybe this gets something new to stick. Maybe this opens a new little doorway for you to start to think about new ways to be you. Wouldn't that be neat? And wouldn't it be new? That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far. If you did, send me, a, do a comment, do the righty thing on the, tell me some things that were useful about this. What did you enjoy? What did you hate? What was good? I'd love to hear back so I could do more of that. And yes, also, if you liked this video overall, I make a new video every single day. Hit subscribe so you can see the video that I make tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.